Hello, dear listener, and welcome to another episode of ASMR Sea Shanties and Folk Songs. Today we'll be looking at another piece that falls more under the category of maritime folk song. It is a 9th century Norse poem known as Thothmaitil min mudir, or in English as My Mother Told Me. The song rendition that we'll sing today is one that I think skirts the gray area of shanty. It's not a traditional shanty. It doesn't have distinct main sections versus callback sections. There are no repeating lines to indicate where the chorus should be. It has more of the feeling of a poem that singers can jump in and out of at any point, and it's very brief. It only has a few lines. The poem, originally in Old Norse, has been translated into the English version we'll sing today. Now, quick tangent on the original title of the song. So, my research tells me the composer of this song spoke Old Norse. But Google Translate tells me the original title, min Modir, is in Icelandic. A bit of research shows me that Old Norse, which was spoken in the Scandinavian region from roughly the 5th to 15th century, was a linguistic predecessor to Icelandic. To go into a little more detail, Old Icelandic and Old Norwegian were quite similar to one another and formed what was Old West Norse, the dialect of settlements in areas like Greenland, Scotland, Ireland, and Northwest England, whereas the Eastern dialect of Old Norse was spoken in settlements in Denmark, Sweden, and Eastern England. Fun fact, Old Norse was the most widely spoken European language in the 11th century, probably explaining the notable distinction of East versus West dialects. It is the Western dialect that over time led to modern-day Scandinavian languages, such as Icelandic. So, thanks Google Translate for giving me a bit of insight on that and inspiring my research. The song, my mother told me, was written by E.U. Skatlagrimsson. He was regarded as a Viking Age war poet, sorcerer, and berserker. Reading his Wikipedia page, he sounded like a loose cannon, at least according to the saga written about him. He has a rather messy history. If you're interested, I encourage you to read his wiki page. But allegedly, he was a bit of a brute and killed a lot of people. But focusing on his poetic works, I found it neat that his poems are regarded as the earliest poems in Old Norse that had rhyming verses. My Mother Told Me was one of his free verse poems and was recorded in chapter 40 of the saga written about his life. Now, looking at the lyrics, it's curious how, in so few lines, we get this glimpse of the culture at the time. That one was expected to seek greatness and fortune away from home, to the point of being prodded by their mother, perhaps reflecting the hardships people in the Norse-speaking region faced, and the great expanse Vikings sailed to trade and seek fortune. A little-known fact that I think is fascinating. Did you know the earliest evidence of Europeans in America is a Norse settlement in Canada? These ruins on the northern tip of the island of Newfoundland date back to the early 1000s common era. Culturally speaking, I wonder to what extent the song was urging men and women equally to seek fortune away from home. The lyrics don't specify, and there's historic evidence that women joined Viking raids alongside men. Now, coming from a Latin family, this strikes me as interesting, as in a lot of traditional Latin families, men might be encouraged to leave home to seek their fortune. Emphasis on might. But women, not so much. My mom commented one reason some of my family was resistant to me going off to college far from home was because it's really rare for women to leave the nest, so to speak, in Latin families. I even have uncles who were given a hard time by my great-grandfather for leaving the family property. They maintained a farm, and they weren't exactly destitute, 
But some of my uncles, and eventually my grandmother and her sisters, realized they could do better for themselves by leaving the nest, which they were not encouraged to do. So I find it quite fascinating how much the few lines of this song give us a glimpse to the culture of the old Norse singers of this song. Now let's take a look at the lyrics. Galleys. Essentially a warship, though sometimes used in trade. Galleys are low and flat in build, have one or two sails, and up to three banks or levels of oars. Prow. So the bow of a ship is the front section of a ship, and the prow is specifically the part of the bow above water. So the singer is talking about standing proud at the very front of the ship. Bark. In a nutshell, a small sailing ship that can be propelled by both sails and oars. But more specifically, barks on average have three masts in which the frontmost masts are square rigged and the third or backmost mast is fore and aft rigged. Square rigging is what a typical sail ship has, in which the sails are perpendicular, or square, to the keel of a ship, whereas fore and aft rigged sails are set along the same axis of the keel of a ship, the keel being the counterweight at the bottom of a ship. So basically, to put it plain and simple, a bark has sails that are both upright and slanted to the ship. Haven, a sanctuary, a place of safety and refuge. A haven can also literally refer to a harbor or port. Hue means to slay, to cut down, etc., usually with a large bludgeoning item like an axe. Foe, an enemy or opponent. Now, I struggled to find a consensus on how exactly the original poem might have been sung, let alone when people decided to start singing it. Most people who know the song probably recognize the version featured in Vikings, the aptly titled historical drama written for the History Channel. However, I've also come across a rendition of the poem sung in its original tongue in the style of a Gregorian chant, such as this rendition by an Icelandic band from 2005, well before the Vikings television series. It's neat but we shall be singing the more shanty-esque rendition that most people are familiar with. So without further ado, allow me to introduce our lovely group of singers for this episode. Many thanks to new and returning singers alike, Sneha Kumar, Terence McGee, Captain Matt ASMR, Blump Audios, and Happy Logger VA. My mother told me someday I will buy gullies with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, you many foemen, you many foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, you many foemen, you many foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, you many fold and you many fold. My mother told me 
Someday I will buy galleys with good oars. Sail to distant shores. Stand up on the prow. Noble bark I steer. Steady, steady course to the haze.